Market, our pop culture lead today, running around the block for some of us, well, takes a lot. But running a few half marathons and then a couple full marathons and then an ultra marathon all in one year, well, that takes a special kind of perseverance, dare I say, insanity. And yet, that's exactly what CNN's Tom Foreman did after his daughter persuaded him to pick up running with her. And joining me now via Skype and selfie stick from the forests of Bethesda, <laughs> CNN's running man, Tom Foreman, author of the new book, My Year of Running Dangerously, a dad, a daughter, and a ridiculous plan. Tom, you're out on the trail right now. This is how dedicated you are to running. We're in a very time-consuming and unpredictable industry, obviously. <laughs> a lot of people can relate to working long hours. How did you make time for running, especially the type of running you're doing 10 or 15 miles at a clip? A lot of really early mornings and a lot of really late nights, uh, but also being just dedicated to saying when I was going out, finding the time in the day. We find time for all sorts of things, jobs and family and hobbies and responsibilities. So this is just saying this has to be one of those things you have to tend to, Jake. Your book uh, is great. It's, uh, it's obviously a lot, uh, about a lot more than just running. It's about dedication, about hard work. What do you say to people who are inspired by you but say there's no way they could do what you do? I say I was exactly like you for a long, long time. And I have to say, when you have small children, it's a hard thing to do because there are just a lot of demands. Maybe you can't really take on long, long races or you can only do them in short bites. But a big part of this is about time management and recognizing the time you really have if you put aside all the things that we normally waste time on. You slide those aside and you find you do have a lot of time for doing many things that may be valuable to you, whether it's running or something else. And in fact, you were able to combine your love of running with your love uh, of family. You, you tackled this together with your daughter, who was in her freshman year of college at the time. How did that shared interest help your relationship as it changed from, you know, daughter living with you in your house, young girl to young woman? Well, you know what, Jake? I think that when people get older, and this book is really about getting older and change and changing relationships, things have to change. You can't have the same relationship with an 18 or 19 or 20-year-old that you had with an 11-year-old. And running became not just for my daughter, my older daughter and I, but for my younger daughter, Allie, and for my wife as well. We all picked up a new language of running. It became something that we could share in a more adult way than the things we did as kids. And so now we all run together at various times. Your sense of humor uh, is well known throughout the office here. Uh, it certainly shows uh, throughout the book. You describe running the marathon and trying to get your daughter uh, through by giving her these energy beans. You say, quote, I had a <laughs> fleeting moment of her winding up hopelessly hooked, living in a shelter, running all day, hanging out near sports stores, panhandling beans to keep herself going. I'd have no one to blame but myself, dad, bean pusher. B besides those magical beans, how did you get uh, you and your daughter to keep going even when it seemed impossible, when you just wanted to collapse? Well, you know, I worried more about her schedule than I did mine because it was very difficult starting college and all. But, but really what we said was always, and it sounds like a simple formula, but it's true of anything you want to do like this, or at least we've learned it is, you just take the next step. You don't worry about the next 13 miles or the next 15 miles or the next 26 or 50 miles. You say, I may or may not get there, but I can get from here to the corner. And if I can get from here to the corner and to the next corner, then maybe I've got something going. And that really is the mantra of so many ultra runners now. You just keep going and you'll get there eventually. Just focus on the next step. Good advice for all things. Tom, I'll let you get back to your run. The book again is My Year of Running Dangerously by CNN's Tom Foreman. Thanks so much, and don't get a shin splint out there. <laughs> See you, Jake.